Hey everyone, Earthling here with another dog food recipe. Now if you've watched my other dog food recipes, you know that I always make them a little different. I feed my dog a great variety. He gets raw, he gets cooked, he gets dehydrated food, he gets all types of things. But usually when I make dog food, you know, I try to get good deals, um, but I never really pay much attention. Today I wanted to do a budget meal, and we wanted to see how much food we can get for the lowest price. So I was real careful today while still getting quality ingredients. And I don't know if you can read this a receipt here, but the total for all this food is $10.17. And it should make many, many meals for my dogs. So we'll go through and kind of just talk about the ingredients I have, then we'll get cooking and show you how that's done. So first we have chicken gizzards and hearts. I love using these. They're really inexpensive. It's only a buck 24 for this and we got Probably about a pound. I, I can't see on here how much this is. Oh, it's a 0.86 of a pound. So it's, it's almost a pound. We have eggs and I got six for 45 cents. I'm not sure if I'll use all six. I'll probably use at least three. We have chicken livers. Again, these are really low cost for the amount you get. I paid for those, uh, let's see here. It was about a buck. 68 a buck 68 so very low cost there we have peas and carrots and these were really low cost as well these were 84 cents we have some some sardines and there were lower cost sardines um, but i went with these because they're no salt added so these sardines were a buck 58 i believe if i'm reading that right there were some sardines in the store for like a dollar but these are I don't know if it's going to focus right away on this, but in that little red box there it says no salt added. And we also have some red kidney beans with no salt added. And these only have 10 milligrams of sodium, which is super, super low. We also have some chicken broth over here. And the chicken broth, I couldn't find a no salt added one but I got the reduced sodium one. You want to get everything you can, no salt added, or at least reduced sodium. Uh, you know, too much salt isn't great for, for, the, for your dogs. And then we got a pack of ground turkey. And this was the most expensive thing at $2.94. These cans of broth, and uh, the broth was only 50 cents, the kidney beans were I think around 80 cents. Uh, so everything was very low cost. I just wanted some actual meat in there and I was looking at the ground beef and I was looking at the uh, you know, ground turkey and that was one of the lowest cost ones I found. So for $10.17 we have all this. Now I'm going to add in two more things uh, just because I have them in my cabinet so why not. Just going to throw in some tuna and then I'm going to throw in just a little bit of oatmeal there and that'll just help thicken up the mixture. Sometimes I use a little bit of rice, sometimes I use a little bit of oatmeal, but it's gonna absorb all the broth and it's gonna absorb the juices, so it's gonna have nutrition in it as well. And it just helps thicken up the mixture for my dog. So let's go ahead and get this all unpacked and get to cooking it. All right, we're all ready to cook. Now I just use this electric pot I have. I really like this thing. Uh, I can set my temperature to whatever and you know, it works great for me, but you can use a pan on the stove. You could use a crock pot even. Basically, we're cooking this like a stew, and you're just going to give it some time to cook with all the ingredients together. So just get a pan, and you're going to have it simmer on the stove. Or you can use a crock pot, you can use an electric kettle, whatever, electric pot, whatever you want to do. So basically, we're just going to take most or, mostly all our ingredients and just throw them in there. So we're going to get our giblets and hearts in there. Going to get our ground turkey in there. We will throw in our chicken livers. I did drain most of these items as well a little bit. We got our kidney beans, our broth, and we're going to wait just a little bit for the tuna, sardines, eggs, and oatmeal there. And we'll add those in once this starts cooking a little bit. So what we'll do is just let this pot start heating it up. 
Of course, I'm going to break up the turkey and get everything mixed around. And then we're just going to let this pot get up to a simmer. And we're just going to let it simmer until everything is fully cooked. So I'm going to go ahead and keep breaking everything up while it starts heating up. And we'll come back and check on it in a little bit. Forgot to add my peas and carrots. These could go in a little later, but they're fine to go in now too. They're not going to like, you know, overcook or anything. So we got those in there. All right, I'll mix it up and be back in a minute. Now that we're simmering, I'm just going to cover it to pre prevent any splatter. You can cover it or you can leave it uncovered. doesn't matter too much. I do it mainly to prevent splatter. And now I'm just going to let it cook for about 20 minutes or so. You can let it cook for a half hour. If you're doing this in a crock pot, of course, you'd wait longer. Maybe more like three, four, or five hours, depending what setting you have it on. But in this hotter pot, probably about 20 to 30 minutes. Now that this has been cooking for about 20 minutes, we can add in our final ingredients. So we got our oatmeal. And then, you might be wondering what happened to this. This is the tuna, sardines, and three eggs. I just mixed them all in one cup so it's easy to add them right now. You want to get the eggs stirred in pretty quick because they cook really fast in this hot, hot stuff. So you just get everything mixed up so the eggs are all around rather than just one big clump if they cook all in one space. So now the eggs as well as the oatmeal is going to thicken up this mixture. So we're just going to let it continue cooking on a low simmer for another about 10 minutes. And then we'll come back and see how it turns out. As you can see now, after the oatmeal thickens up the mixture, no longer looks like a soup. Now it's a lot thicker. It'll get a little bit thicker uh, as we continue to just let it stay warm for a while. I'm going to turn my heat down just to like keep it on a little bit warm, just to help it kind of thicken up a little bit. And what I've learned of, after doing this a long time, this stuff stays hot for a long time anyways. So it's going to kind of thicken up because as you can see steam going up, it's going to keep evaporating some liquid as it cools. So this is about the consistency I want it when I'm pretty much ready to turn off the heat. We're going to let it cool down and then I'll show you how much we actually got. I'm going to transfer it into a Tupperware and then we'll feed my dog some. Okay, so the mixture is cooled down now and I'm going to be putting most of it in here so we can see how much we have. This is going to be a good amount. Now I have small dogs bigger dog of course would eat more but for my small dogs I could buy a small $10 bag or even $15 bag of some high quality dog food it'll only last about a week this stuff should be about a week's worth or more for about the same or less cost and you know what's going in it so I'll just go ahead and transfer this so it's easier to see and we'll take a look at it So here I have the main portion of it, and then a little portion for our dog here. And as you can see, this is a pretty big Tupperware. I mean, it's bigger than my head, really. And a scoop of this, if I were to take a big scoop out, more than enough for a dog, there's many, many, many scoops in there. Probably, I don't know, 15. So a lot of food here for just 10 bucks. And the next thing we're gonna do is feed our dog. Now, many of you guys on my channel know my dog, Jack. He's not here right now, he's at my place, but we have Prince here who's gonna give it a taste. Okay, so let's just see now if my dog, Prince, like Earthlings dog food. Come here, Prince. Stay. Nope. Get back. Nope. Don't touch. Oh, he really likes it. Prince, sit. 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 Prince, <coughs> sit down. Sit down, Prince. He is not behaving. Prince. He's really excited. Out in my kitchen now. Sit. Sit, Prince. Sit. Stay. No. Stay. Stay. No. Wait, Prince. Give a second. Go. Just go. Oh, looks like he likes it. So there's a little dog food recipe, guys. A little budget one. 
Have any questions or comments, leave them below. Happy pet keeping. We'll see y'all later. Alright guys, I'm going to pack up a little bit to bring back to my dog at home, Jack. I might make a little video later, just a little extra uh, separate video to show him eating it. But I just wanted to show, this is human food really. Now, lizard, livers and hearts, I've eaten. I don't eat them a ton. But, I just wanted to try this to see how it actually is. It's actually pretty good, except human food would have more salt, pepper, some seasoning. This has no seasoning, but it's actually pretty good. It's a little weird because of the uh, sardines and the tuna in there, so you got like meat, like red meat kind of stuff mixed with fish, but it's pretty good.